Welcome into the Oklahoma to Video Studio, our monthly chat with this lady right here, Tava Saski, the director of the Oklahoma Film and Music mm -hmm. Office, and this lovely gentleman right here, Lance McDaniel, artistic director, I believe that's correct? Correct. With Dead Center Film Festival. Yes. My friends, welcome into the studio. Thanks, Thank David. you very much. Great to see you guys. Lots going on, and Lance, we'll get to you in a second, because there's fabulous film doings in Tulsa. Yes. And in Whole Foods, apparently. Yeah. Tava, last time we spoke with you last month, we were teeing up the Americana Music Festival and the Oklahoma Connections there in Nashville. How did it go? It was awesome. Uh, couldn't be happier, couldn't be uh, more proud of our Oklahoma artists who um, shined on, this, on multiple stages in Nashville. And then just thanks to all of our Studio Oklahoma partners, we had 18 partners, um, if you recall, that came with us. And so it was- And that's uh, important to get partners it, involved with yeah. various endeavors. Yeah, we have to have those. So studiooklahoma.com is our website for that to, as we continue to give all of our Studio Oklahoma partners um, a, thank, a big thanks. All right, so the music scene went well there with Americana Fest, and we'll get into some more music here in a networking event hosted by uh, Scott Booker of ACM UCO, Flaming Lips fame. But first of all, uh, you have your hands full and a success to the Oklahoma Film and Music Office of rebate films in progress, right? That's right. Well, we currently have seven active in the queue right now. We're still closing out a couple of claims, that, um, several claims actually that have uh, f features that have already filmed here and television projects. But yeah, as we were talking about earlier, we have seven in the queue. Um, four of those were actually filming simultaneously the first week of October. So there was a lot of, there was a lot of work going on. Our crews were all over the state. Um, and then uh, during that first week of October, we actually had two other ones that were crewing up to start filming in November. And so we had a lot of phone calls um, saying, you know, we just, we need more prop guys, we need more grips. And so we connected them with, um, with folks all over the state. I think there's retired Teamsters coming back um, to work. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot happening, so, but we're happy to have all these films well, at once. Give us some perspective, seven films. Is that a lot? Is that not a whole lot? Should we have more? Should we have less? And do we have enough crew and staff to support things like this? You know, Oklahoma's uh, film industry is growing. Um, I mean, the, you know, and when I'm talking about four films going on simultaneously, those are just a little bit larger with a minimum budget of 50000 um, all the way up to, you know, over $10 million. Um, so those are our rebate films. But there's also a ton of shorts and other um, features and projects going on around the state. So as far as our crews, you know, I think that I learn about every week that new crew members are moving home uh, to work because there's so much more going on. So I think we're supporting the, the films that are coming here. Uh, as far as the incentive, you know, we've got five million right now. We're very happy with that. We're using it. We're using it well. I think we've talked about that multiple times. And um, I just think that we're growing at a, at a, at a perfect pace. So. Very I good. good. I, you know, Lance, I mentioned uh, Dead Center. I was at Whole Foods last night. Apparently you were out back at Whole Foods. What, what were you guys doing there? Well, so Whole Foods invited us to show kids films last night, and we showed, um, um, there were about 70 people showed up and, and put out blankets on the lawn and brought their kids. And we Great showed, night we for showed that. An, oh, yeah, we showed an hour's yeah. worth of uh, short children's films, and it was awesome. It was very, very fun. No, and we, we do, all fall, we go to different towns and do education programs, so this was kind of an extension of that. In fact, I think I saw a poster that you'll be maybe out at Wheeler Park coming up. We are having an event at Wheeler mm -hmm. Park, our first Halloween fundraiser on the 22nd. So. All right, very good. Yes. Uh, again, mm -hmm. he's Lance McDaniel, Artistic Director with uh, Dead Center Film Festival. We'll get to the Tulsa Film Festival, which is already underway or begins today, Wednesday, October 12th, runs through uh, the weekend in just a second. But back to the music thing, uh, music and networking event coming up at 21C Museum Hotel in Film Row. That's right. So in this spring, this was the first year that our office launched a networking and mentoring series. And so we're just, we're going to continue that as long as we can. Um, we bring, we do bring in partners. So we already have a few uh, Studio Oklahoma partners is, is what we call them because they are like-minded community partners that help us bring these uh, events to life. Uh, 21C Museum Hotel is one of those partners. Um, we, uh, Dunlap Cotting, ACM at UCO, supporting them today as well. She always has the swag. Every time she comes <laughs> on, last time I believe it was Studio Oklahoma, this time. And you're bringing the swag, too. <laughs> yeah, I, need right. to, I need to bring <laughs> you some more swag. Um, as well as the Oklahoma Songwriters Festival, uh, them and ACM at UCO are doing some, give, some cool giveaways. Um, but anyway, so the event will be October 26th. Um, the one in the spring was for film makers, and this one is for music makers. Artists, students, 
um, anyone interested in music business, it's free. Um, and so it'll be Wednesday night. It kicks off at 5.30 with Kaylin Fay is going to be the artist who will perform during the, the first hour, um, the networking part of the event. And then at 6.30, we'll begin the conversation with David Macias. He is the president and founder of an indie record label, one of the largest and fastest growing indie labels in Nashville. And I think they have six offices around the country um, called 30 Tigers. And so David Macias will be um, our guest speaker, along with Samantha Crane, who probably a lot of people know sure. who she is, a local Oklahoma artist. Um, and so the conversation is going to be between them, which Scott Booker will moderate, and it's really, um, it's called Here and Now, and it's really providing the artist and the label perspective for marketing and distribution for our artists. And so um, it's going to be super cool. The one in the spring was Standing Room Only. You were there awesome. with Christopher McNeely from Mar Vista Entertainment in L.A. And, um, we, I still get compliments on that event. It was just, it's good. You know, it's really solid um, uh, sound advice that, that our communities, our film and our music communities can receive from these special folks out in the other parts of the world. That is coming up October 26th, as she mentioned, at the 21C Museum Hotel down at Film Row. That should be good stuff coming up there. All right, moving on to the Tulsa Film Festival. We mentioned that is underway. It runs through October 16th. Lance, you were there last year. This is the... Uh, I believe this is the second year. It's the second annual, and it was awesome. So um, so Ben Arandando, um, um, who is from New York originally, but basically approached Tulsa for the last few years and said there needs to be a film festival here, and he got and he got on board a woman named Colleen Thurston, who was their head of programming, who is a Tulsa native, and the two of them are fabulous. And they, they, they threw the first film festival last year, and we were all there. Um, and as someone who works at a festival, it was super impressive to see not only how, fish, how effectively they were organized, but also how, the great quality of films a lot of which were coming from Tulsa artists. Mm -hmm. And so, and Tulsa, you know, has a great film scene and for the last, you know, decade, yeah. a ton of, especially visiting films, has used the great architecture of Tulsa to tell their mm -hmm. stories like The Killer Inside Me, like some of the bigger ones. August Osage County was kind of based there for part mm -hmm. of it. So, um, so I think, I think Tulsa is a perfect place for a film festival and I think Ben and Colleen have really created something awesome that'll last. And, um, and this year I'm excited because I have a movie in the festival. So they have, um, they have three narrative features from Oklahoma and the one I directed and wrote is called Obra. Brother, okay. and it's a um, a a, a um, raunchy comedy. <laughs> it's a comedy. He says, Sorry, yeah. he says proudly. Yeah, it's a it's a it's not R rated necessarily, but it's PG thirteen, and um, and it uses all Oklahoma actors. And I wrote it with a comedian named Spencer Higgs and Melissa Scaramucci, who used to run that center. And the background on this thing was you shot it. Pretty quickly. We shot it in five days in mm -hmm. February. And so our goal was how how quickly and cheaply can we make a feature film using all our friends from Oklahoma that are hilarious. And so there's a couple um, a couple of friends of mine that are drag queens at the boom and do a gospel show there are in it. And so we did we, we reached all over the state to try to find really funny people and bring them together for this movie. And Stephanie Pena, who's been in a lot of my movies, mm -hmm. is in it. Um, but what's great is so Tulsa, we, so we're playing, so is Teata, which is the second film from the Chickasaw Nation, and it mm -hmm. is gorgeous. We went mm -hmm. to the premiere of that. Um, recently at, at the Warren Theater and, and more, but it's awesome. And the Electric Nostalgia is the other narrative feature, and that's Jacob Burns, and he's an OCU graduate, and he's winning a lot of festivals, including Dead Center. And so those are the features, but there's also really intense, awesome Native American documentaries, because they do have a great Native American focus there, and it's called the Tulsa American Film Festival. So their goal is to, they're showing the best of, of narratives and documentaries coming out of America. And um, kind of the other fun thing that Tave and I were talking about is uh, their amazing shorts. So yeah. Yes, we're open from Yusuf Kazemi is one of the one of the shorts playing there. There's one called Even in Death, which is from Autism Oklahoma, that that one dead center. And then there's another one called Rung that is by um, Logan Alexander, who's an OU grad who's now in, in graduate school in Boston. And so they've got a really fun, and those are just the ones, I mean, that's just the top of my head. Right. They've got tons of films there from a wide variety of artists, and so I'm very excited. And they put on a really fun show. So very good. More information yeah. about the Tulsa American Film Fest. Of course, is online, TulsaAmericanFilmFest.com. And Tava, you guys are hosting the uh, festival's official Friday night party, or Friday night after party, I should say. That's right, that's right. It, um, it starts at 8, but we're actually going to start um, earlier in the day at Circle Cinema at 1 o'clock. There's cool. um, something unique and different about that they're doing this year, and it's called a staged reading. Um, so there, were, there was a contest that the festival put on, and... Um, four lucky people basically get to get up and do stage readings with professional actors and so that's cool. something different 
Um, so that is at one o'clock on Friday. And then I know the Tulsa Film Office also has some different mixers throughout the week. Most of the things that we're um, supporting uh, directly are on Friday. So then we have a whole block of films. So Electric Nostalgia yeah. is one, and there's um, three other films that, that night, and then with the parties at eight o'clock. And that, um, uh, I guess because we just changed the venue of that today, so it's going to be at a place called Beehive, which is right okay. next to Circle Cinema. Very so good. So we're excited, yeah. Tulsa okay. American Film Festival runs through uh, October 16th. It's up in Tulsa, as you might suspect. Uh, the networking event we mentioned earlier over at 21C is October 26th. Lance, uh, a question for you. Uh, what is Dead Center doing these days? Because you always have some educational programs going on throughout the state. Yes, so so um, Kim Haywood, our Director of Programming and Education, and I just got back and we spent three weeks on the road and we were in Guymon and Sealing and Laverne and um, Altus and Duncan. And so we, our goal in the fall is to go to 30 high schools and as rural as possible so that we can take different art programs where they're not getting as much. You know, because if you're in an Oklahoma City, even a public school in Oklahoma City, you're visited by every arts organization that has a has as an office here, but if you're in Guymon or Miami or you know or Idabel, you're not getting as many visits. And so our goal with our rural tour, and this is our sixth year doing it, is to reach people wherever we can. And um, and we go in there, and it's really focused on storytelling. What's, so it's, what are some of the results you're looking for out of this? The results is to the the actual result is to um, we are hoping to help people think more creatively, collaborate more willingly, and speak with confidence in front of their peers. And what we found over the six years, the first year we're like, let's teach everyone to make a movie. And all the feedback from the teachers was oh wow that kid has never spoken in class mm. that kid has never spoken every school we went to there was someone at the back of the class that stood up and talked about making a movie that has never spoken and so we changed our program to be um, to be more helpful to every student so like when we go to Laverne and Sealing we see every kid in town from seventh grade to twelfth grade and we see them one grade at a time and so that's our goal is we want to we want to influence everyone in town and it's not about telling them about dead center or films it's more using the art of film to help people think more creatively and start working together and coming up with ideas together so it's been very effective we won the governor's art award um, two years ago for it and it's been a really it's been I think our most effective program outside of the festival mm -hmm. and what about the November 19th event? November 19th <laughs> we are partnering now, exactly exactly that. <laughs> so we are partnering with Oklahoma Film Music Office and with Oklahoma City University to do our first um, adult education program and so on November 19th it's a screenwriting seminar and it's free you just have to register on our website and so um, Matt Payne who is a local who is a local screenwriter who actually worked for 15 years in LA and had great mm -hmm. success is running it and then um, and then um, we have the guys from Rudderless Jeff Robinson and Casey Twinter are gonna be the keynote speakers so from 9 to 12 it'll be open to everybody and then from 1230 to 530 we're gonna do an intensive for 12 people that we select so you can apply you upload your screenplays we'll pick 12 people and then we're gonna have an intensive with them and our goal is to get people that are actually writing screenplays that are being filmed and help all of us get better at our job you know because I write screenplays for a living and it would really help me to get better at my <laughs> at my job <laughs> right. and so we want everyone in Oklahoma that is writing screenplays to come to this and just get a little bit better I think every time you meet someone else that has success in that area it gives you pointers on how you can make a more successful screenplay yourself right. and that's just another testament to our mission in our office as well and I know with dead centers is is helping facilitate and grow the infrastructure for for film and then also for we you know do that for music but you've got to start right sure. here you've got to start with the, the, the workshops and the you know, the intensive, so. Well, and one of the things is we, I, I've been to all of all of the events that the Oklahoma Film and Music Office has done, and I think they've they've turned over the last couple of years into how do we help people that are working in Oklahoma get better at what they do? You know, it's almost like professional um, education that you get as a teacher or anything, or a lawyer in that continuing education, in that, yes, we want these great programs at schools. OCU is awesome, OCCC is awesome, OU is awesome. There's a lot, Tulsa, there's great film programs, mm -hmm. but we don't just want 20 year olds learning how to do their craft. There are people that are 30 and 40 and 50 that are actually making movies that have the money to get those movies made. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna help them continue to get better at their jobs because they're the ones actually making the movies, so. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And living here. And living here, yeah. <laughs> we wanna keep all that great talent right here in Oklahoma. Right, right. Well, have it. it's hard to keep up with these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's been Daniel Tabasovsky. Uh, always good to see you guys. You too. Whether it's Thanks on camera or off camera, it's just great to chat with you guys. Likewise. Thanks for having us. Uh, for we'll having see us. you next month. All right. That's great.